right, guys. So today we are going to be checking out Winter Bear by Tay. I saw this come out, when was it, a week ago? A week ago. Uh, I saw so much hype about it on Twitter. I meant to get around to it, and I never did. Uh, and I, I don't know if anyone is still watching this. I, you should be. You should be excited about this. You should be hyping this up a week later. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. From my knowledge, I th really thought it was like like a, like a GF GCF type video, uh, and I'm still hoping it's something like that. But either way, it's from Tay. I'm excited to watch either way. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm sure it is something like a GCF type of style, and I'm glad that he's doing it. We don't get much solo content from from Tay uh, in between in between albums or songs or whatever. So I am very excited to watch this. I'm glad we get something from him because I you know I do love him. I think. A lot of people, like, he doesn't get, uh, like, he doesn't always get the attention he deserves, and I think um, it's exciting to, to see solo content from any of the members. So, I'm excited to watch this. I do love the GCF videos, and if this is anything like that type of style, where it's like a little video edit, a cute little thing, um, I'm all for it. So, I'm going to go ahead and watch this, and um, we're going to see what it's about. I'm going to, let's just let's just get excited over Tay today, okay? Let's, let's see some love for him in the comments. Um... And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. If you guys do enjoy this and you guys want to see more BTS content from me, uh, more discussion videos, anything you, you want me to react to, suggestions in the comments, I take all of them. But, uh, I'll read through those and see what you guys want. Uh, and and uh, yeah, so hope you guys do enjoy this. Drop a like on the video if you guys do enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Follow me on Twitter, and Snapchat. All this stuff is in the description below. Uh, if you guys want to want to um, uh, check out my Patreon and support me a little bit extra, you can check that out in the comments. I think I'm going to be reacting to the run episodes on there very soon. So. Uh, you can check that out uh, in the description, and I'll update you guys on when that will be out. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, I've changed my predictions. I, this is a maybe a little short film, I think, because I said actor in the description. Okay, I'm going to cry for you. <laughs> Just because of the fact that he's doing this. Oh my god, this is shot so well. Ten bucks Jungkook filmed this. Ten bucks. I didn't look in the description, but I know it. Is this day singing? Wait, is this him singing? Like, is it? Is this like a short film to his song? Is this a song? Like, is this his? Oh. Look at his little smile. <laughs> So fucking good. Look at his little box smile. He's so cute. No, but like, listen to his vocals. Listen, dude. He sounds so good. Stop, this little cardigan. That's fucking waste. Jeez, tiny. No, for real. Is this. Oh, it's going backwards. Oh, he looks through glasses and. I'm having trouble, like. Analyzing this is gonna be fun, Jesus. Oh my god. Going backwards. Uh, dude, I really like the song. This must be like his own little song then, right? 
Aww. That whole thing was so cute. That was so nice. I'm so glad he did that. We never get stuff like this from him, but he's so talented for real. Oh my god. Oh wait, there's more. Oh my god. Let me go back. I missed the black screen. I still gotta go back. Aww. Aww. That was so cute. That whole thing. The music and everything. Dude, that was so cute. That was like a little short film. Does it say in the description? Director him. Actor him. Production of film. Okay. Big hit. Helped him out. Oh, okay. Okay, so that was an original track. Okay, because I was wondering. I'm like, I'm like, is this something I haven't heard before? Because I'm like, there's no way I haven't heard that before. If he did a song, I've heard it. Um, so he did his own little, his own, this song came out of nowhere, I guess. All right, so I did want to, obviously I want to do a little review. I always like to analyze the videos after and like talk about what I think it means and all that. Uh, but I realized that I didn't like, I didn't really know the lyrics or anything. So I'm going to watch, we're going to watch the lyric video right now. Just so I can break down the lyrics and I can put them together with the video and see what my, what I take from it. Because I feel like there's so much left to, to figure out. So um, we're going to go ahead and watch the lyric video real quick. Just so I could see what. Um, what I'm missing uh, and see what the song is really about. I'm getting a call, no caller ID. Get out of here. Looks like a polar parrot, but what you can fly to me. I want some good day, good day. Oh, that's what he's saying. Good day, good day. Your sleeves are repelling. Oh my god. Okay, I didn't realize this. I always assume it's in Korean, so like, I kind of just listen. I, I hear it without listening. Okay, so the whole thing was in, Eng was in English. Um, but now I can actually see what he's saying, which is nice. I feel like an idiot every time it's in English, and I'm like, oh god, that was all in English. <laughs> Just reading the lyrics helped a bit. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and talk about that for a sec. That was really nice. Alrighty guys, so that was um, Winter Bear by Tay. Uh, his own little original song, which I didn't expect coming out at all. I didn't I, I didn't know if it was a video production or a song production, turns out it was both. So he came out with his own little song. Um, like actually it wasn't even that short, it was it was like three minutes. So his own solo uh, song out of nowhere really nice like just to listen to like even the first time when i wasn't really listening to the lyrics because i went into it like i didn't know go i didn't go into it thinking it would be english so I, I didn't really um analyze the lyrics but even just listening to it it's like it was really like smooth and you know his, his voice like he has that deep voice but like it's so soothing so like it was just nice to listen to like just to have in your ears so it was like nice in that aspect but then actually analyzing the lyrics and listening and watching the video and, and i've seen the video again it kind of just puts it together that like, there's a lot of different things you can take from it. I think it was very comforting. Like, I feel like, like if you listen to the lyrics, 
he's clearly, I don't know if he's talking about someone or just the, the situation where you and someone else, like, she looks like, a, like, I think, I guess he's talking about a girl. She looks like a blue parrot. Would you come fly to me? I want some good days, good days, good days. Looks like a winter bear. You'll sleep so happily. So, like, I guess good days are, I guess he's saying, like, good days are, like, what make, what, what are, they, they're what make you happy. Those make you sleep happily. The part that kind of put it together for me was when he said, then all the bad days, they're nothing to me. And he basically just says, like, with, like all the bad days with you, they don't mean anything to me. You know, sleep like a winter bear, whatever. So I think the 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 whole point of this, and the way I took it at least, and, like, guys, remember, this is my, my interpretation. I think this is the great thing about me doing this is what I like about doing these videos, is everyone's gonna interpret it a different way. That's a good thing about music and art in general. Everyone's gonna have their own meaning to it. And I think this is my meaning. I don't know if there is a backstory to this that people know that I don't know, but to me, uh, I sit here and I think, he's speaking about someone that is so important to you, someone that makes you so happy, that all the good times are, they're amazing, that's what makes you happy, but you care for this person so much, you love them so much, that even the good, the bad days, they they don't they don't ruin your your perception at all. They don't they don't ruin anything for you. The bad days you know they're forgotten because you're so important. So sleep like like a winter bear. Like I'm gonna remember the good things. I think his message is mainly uh, remember the good things, not the bad things. Um, the, the good things are what are gonna stay with you and, and keep you happy. The bad things are just forget them um, because there's no point in holding a grudge. So. That's what I kind of took from it. I think he's talking about, you know, just kind of holding on to the right thing. Like, because I, I feel like nowadays, let's be real, what do you remember the most? You remember the painful things. Like, if you go on, like, there's so many good things that happen to you. Like, everything that happens to us is 90, like, it, yeah, there's a lot of bad stuff that happens. I'm sure people have, have had very unfortunate experiences with having, you know, more bad done to them than good. But, The fact, the, the, the hard truth is that like, let's be real, what, what hits you more? What do you remember more? You're always gonna remember something bad that happened to you, something tragic that happened to you. You're always gonna remember that. Rather than like something, like a, the little happy moments, you don't remember all the little happy moments. People that I've known for, for years, little happy moments I've had with them, I don't remember like most of them. But then something bad that happened to me five years ago, yeah, I remember that. So it, it's, he's saying, I think he's saying like, learn to hold on to the good things in relationships. Don't remember the bad shit. Cause it, it's just, the more positive things you keep with you, the more happy you'll be as a person. Like remembering bad things is just gonna hurt you uh, in the long run. And yeah, and then you see like in the video, like I didn't even analyze the video yet. Looking at the video, I think it kind of goes with it because, or it does go with it because you see him it, I feel like it's supposed to be in the perspective of someone else like recording him like his 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 partner whoever he's speaking about in this if he's speaking about anyone I'm not saying he is speaking about anyone it could very well just be a concept but whoever the person is like because he isn't he's acting in this so the other person in the story the significant other the person who makes him happy he doesn't even have to be a significant other the person who makes him happy a friend whatever family member the person who's making him happy I think is recording him doing all these fun things eating him recording like it looks like it's a handheld um footage type video so like the, the like those scenes where he's like eating and like just taking pictures of stuff and laughing that is representing the good times his the, the other person in that relationship or, or whoever's making him happy there is capturing all the good moments with him and you're remembering the good moments and then you have later in the video the the everything kind of in reverse and it, it's saying like that's kind of like showing going back in time like when you're thinking back, and that's why everyone's moving back, remember those good times. Uh, so I think that's the way I took it. I don't know how you guys took that, but after watching the video, like I watched it twice, uh, that's how it seemed to me. So like the lyrics paired, paired with that is just like, look at all these happy moments. Remember that when you're thinking back. So that's what I took. I don't know what you guys thought about that. Let me know what you guys took from that video and the song. Uh, if you guys have analyzed it, what it means to you. Um, this is what I love about about uh, BTS, and I, I love analyzing their their stuff, and I always love listening to it because they all they all have such deep meanings, and I think analyzing it is is always a fun a fun thing, and it could it could be very deep. It could help you. It it could be relatable. It could help you understand something that you don't already feel. So I think that was um, honestly I love that. I thought that was very 
very good. I, I, I love getting stuff from Tay, man. I know we don't get it too often, but he's, I think we should, we, I just want him to know that we appreciate him. Like, he's seriously extremely talented. Everything about that was great. Um, loved it, man. I, I really hope we see more solo projects from him like this. This did, like, I just think the fact that, like, he does come out so far, like, his, his solo stuff does come out so far and few in between. It's because I feel like he does want it to be his best. He wants to produce it the best way he can. He wants to have meaning. And I, I think that's beautiful. So I, I loved everything about it. Uh, I'd love to see more stuff from him. So I'm looking forward to that if it does come. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you, th what you thought about it. Let me know your interpretations of everything in the, in the comment section below. Let me know your, your opinions. Uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this and you want to see more BTS content from me, drop a like on the video, guys. That means a lot to me. Uh, subscribe channel if you guys are brand new. Follow me on Twitter, guys. I mean, on Snapchat. All the stuff's in the description below if you want to keep up to date with me. And uh, Patreon's down there as well if you want to support me a little bit extra. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys very, very soon.